When you're watching on Real TV's Prime Time, now headlines. Congress leader and former Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Ajok Gelot, said that permission for Rahul Gandhi's Bharatoro Yatra should have been given by now as the rally is not political but was to ensure love and brotherhood in the country. Following the resignation of Elizabeth Boren, France's President Emmanuel Macron on Tuesday named 34-year-old Education Minister Gabriel Attal as the new Prime Minister of the country. After devastating earthquake flattened parts of central Japan on January 1st, another powerful magnitude 6.0 earthquake hit central Japan. However, no tsunami warning has been given yet. Manipur is set to host its first North East India Film Festival, NEIFF 2024, with the main event scheduled from March 3 to 7. Hours after the Manipur Chief Minister said that active consideration are being made to decide whether Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Joro Nyai Yatra be allowed in Imphal due to the sensitive law and order situation. Senior Congress leader and former Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Ashok Gelot, said that permission should have been given by now as the rally is not political but was to ensure love and brotherhood in the country. The Congress plans to begin the second edition of Bharat Joro Yatra for Manipur's capital, Imphal. कि अभी तक तो परमिशन दे देनी चाहिए थी जब उनको मालूम है कि भारत जोड़ो न्याय यात्रा ये मैसेज देने के लिए खाली राजनीतिक लिए नहीं है राहुल गांधी की यात्रा खाली राजनीतिक नहीं है देश में प्यार मोहब्बत भाईचारा रहे देखिए समस्याएं जो है महंगाई की है बेरोजगारी की है गरीब अमीर की भी खाई बढ़ी हुई है उसकी है ये जो राहुल गांधी जी ने जो मुद्दे उठा रखे थे भारत जोड़ो यात्रा में उनको आगे बढ़ाने की बात है तो जब ये स्थिति है तो ऐसी यात्रा तो कोई पार्टी कर सकती है कोई नेता कर सकता है उसमें रुकावट आनी नहीं चाहिए ये तो संदेश देगी भारत भर के अंदर लोगों को नौजवानों को तो मैं समझता हूँ कि अविलंब यात्रा का परमिशन देनी चाहिए विचार करने की क्या बात है इसके अंदर ये तो एक मैसेज देंगे शांति सद्भावना का the magnitude of 6.0 earthquake of central Japan caused strong shaking, but no tsunami warning has been given yet, the government said as per news agency AFP. The Japan Meteorological Agency said that the earthquake struck off the Sea of Japan coast, rattling the same part of the country where a powers are still battling against time to clear the wreckage as well as reach almost 3,500 people still stuck in isolated communities. Authorities have said as data from Ishikawa showed that 202 people were confirmed dead up from 180 earlier in the day with 102 unaccounted for. Down from almost 60,000 households were without running water and 15,600 had no electricity supply. Meanwhile, Japan Prime Minister Fumio Kishida instructed ministers to make efforts of resolving the state of isolation of communities and continue tenacious rescue activities at a daily disaster relief government meeting. He also urged secondary evacuations to other regions outside the earthquake hit area. The security advisor of Manipur government, Kuldeep Singh, said on Tuesday that a lot of village volunteers along with militants in Moray are trying to evict the commandos from the area and they have been told state forces cannot be evicted. Since Singh also said that they do not have any confirmation about Myanmar-based militants being involved and thus no arrest has been made. However, there are information about militants or miscreants from nearby areas assembling there. The advisor assured that all the culprits, whether Myanmar nationals or Indians, will be taken to task and that the security forces are tackling them. In More, actually, whatever is happening is a lot of village volunteers. What we have got the information that village volunteers, along with the militants, are there. 
and they are trying to evict the uh, commandos which are there. Time and again they have been told that the state forces uh, cannot be told to be evicted from any place. State forces will act. Wherever uh, the uh, state of Manipur or wherever the orders from state of Manipur or uh, the uh, government of Manipur wants to send them. So that is the thing. As far as Myanmar based militants or Myanmar based places are con things are concerned, we do not have any such confirmation. No, we have not been able to arrest any. We have not been able to arrest any. Whatever intelligence we have got, intelligence is that uh, the uh, militants or miscreants from nearby areas and uh, maybe from Churachanpur, maybe from Chandel, maybe from Technopol have assembled there. That is the information. We have to yet to confirm. Sir, we will sir, try to sir, confirm that. Please, please but please but we do not have any confirmatory report till now sir, that people from Myanmar are also there. But intelligence is of course there. But we have not got any confirmation. We will we will definitely we will definitely try to find it out. And whoever is the culprit, whether it is Myanmari or from the people from uh, uh, the Indian uh, origin, they will all be taken to task. And yesterday we had held a meeting in Chief Secretary's office where everybody was there, and the forces are fighting jointly. Assam Rifle, uh, the uh, the commandos and the BSF personnel, they are fighting together and they are uh, tackling them. Till now they have not been able to inflict injuries in the last uh, two, three days of attack and all the heights from where they are firing and they are trying to uh, attack the security forces, those heights are being uh, trying to be occupied. Yesterday one height we could occupy. We will be able to occupy those heights in uh, coming days. And after that, they won't be able to do that. And then our combing operation will continue to do that. In a shocking incident, Suchanda said the 39-year-old chief executive officer of artificial intelligence company Mindful AI Lab, who allegedly killed her four-year-old son in Goa and then traveled with the body to Karnataka, is estranged from her husband. Suchanda said was arrested by the Goa police from Chitra Turka in Karnataka on Sunday night, the police said, adding the motive behind the killing was not yet known. According to Seth's Lincoln, link in page, she is the chief executive officer, CEO of startup Mindful AI Lab and was among the top 100 billion women in AI ethics for 2021. Kalangute Police Station Inspector Paresh Naik said that she checked into a rented service apartment at Kandolium in North Goa on January 6, along with her son. After a two-day stay, she informed the apartment staff of her intention to travel to Bengaluru for work and requested assistance in arranging a taxi, Nayak stated. The staff suggested that she could take a flight to Bengaluru, which would be a cheaper option rather than hiring a taxi, which is an expensive proposition. He added, the accused insisted that she would travel by taxi only and accordingly a vehicle was arranged on January 8 in which she left early morning. Later, when the apartment staff went to clean the room in which she stayed, they found blood stains on towel. Nike said, the accused told us that the blood stains were due to her monthly periods. She also told us that her son was with her friend in Margao, town in South Goa, and provided the address, the official said. The police also said that the accused did not have cordial relations with her husband and their divorce proceedings in the court is in its final stage. Upon discovering that the address provided by Suchana said was false, Inspector Paresh Naik sought assistance from the Fadurda police near Margao. Further investigation revealed that a given location was not genuine. Naik, in collaboration with the authorities, contacted the taxi driver transporting the accused to Bangalore who had treat Chitar Durga district in Karnataka. The police in Chitar Durga inspected the woman's back and found the lifeless body of the child. Subsequently, a team from the Kalankure police hastened to Chitra Durga, securing a transit demand for the accused. She is now being transported back to Goa. The post-mortem of the child's body is scheduled to take place in Chitar Durga. The police have informed the accused's husband, Vingard Raman, who is presently in Jakarta, about the incident. स्टाफ से एक टैक्सी अरेंज करने के लिए रिक्वेस्ट किया उनको जाना था बेंगलोर तो टैक्सी होटल के स्टाफ ने यह पूछा कि बेंगलोर के लिए गोवा से फ्लाइट चीप रहेगा और टैक्सी ज्यादा महंगा पड़ेगा बट वो लेडी इंसिस्ट किया कि उनको टैक्सी चाहिए 
इमीडिएटली चेकआउट किया अपने लगेज टैक्सी में रखा टैक्सी होटल के स्टाफ ने अरेंज करके दिया था जब ये चेकआउट होने के बाद अर्ली मॉर्निंग में होटल के स्टाफ रूम के सफाई के लिए गया तो वहां पर रेड कलर्ड स्टेन्स मिला जो उनको लगा ये ब्लड है इमीडिएटली होटल के लोगों ने पुलिस स्टेशन कलंगूट को इन्फॉर्म किया जैसे ही पुलिस स्टेशन कलंगूट में इन्फॉर्मेशन आया परेश पीआई अपने टीम के साथ वहां पे पहुंचा होटल में और प्राइमा फेसी ब्लड स्टेन्स लगा तो इमीडिएटली लेडी से कांटेक्ट करने की कोशिश की जो ड्राइवर लेडी को लेके जा रहे थे उनके मोबाइल नंबर होटल से मिला ड्राइवर से बात की ड्राइवर को ड्राइवर के फोन के थ्रू वो लेडी से भी बात की तो उनसे पूछा कि आपके बच्चे कहाँ हैं तो वो लेडी ने ये बोला कि वो जो बच्चा है वो उन्होंने मालगांव में किसी फ्रेंड के घर पे थोड़ा दिन रहने के लिए छोड़ा है परेश ने इंसिस्ट किया कि वो एड्रेस उनको बता दिया जाए तो लेडी ने एक एड्रेस भी दिया परेश ने इमीडिएटली फतोड़ा पुलिस स्टेशन के पीआई को कांटेक्ट किया और बोला एक बार जाके चेक करने के लिए इमीडिएटली फतोड़ा पीआई आई वहां पर चेक किया तो एड्रेस फेक निकला शोइंग प्रसेंस ऑफ माइंड परेश ने विदाउट द नॉलेज ऑफ द लेडी ड्राइवर से बात किया और ड्राइवर के बोला ड्राइवर से ये इंफॉर्मेशन पास किया कि इमीडिएटली द टैक्सी हैज टू बी टेकन टू द नियरेस्ट पुलिस स्टेशन वो हमें पता भी चला कि ये चित्रदुर्ग डिस्ट्रिक्ट में आई मंगला पुलिस स्टेशन के जो रिस्ट्रिक्शन में थे कंसर्न एसपी से भी मैंने बात की और पी के बीच में भी बातचीत हुआ ड्राइवर ने गाड़ी उस पुलिस स्टेशन में लेके गया आई मंगला पुलिस स्टेशन चित्रदुर्गा डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई मंगला पुलिस स्टेशन के स्टाफ से हमने रिक्वेस्ट किया कि एक बार तलाशी ले लो जब इनके लगेज ओपन करके देखा तो उसमें बच्चे का डेड बॉडी मिला जिस तरीके से डेड बॉडी मिला उससे एक ऑर्गेनाइजेबल ऑफेंस बनता है तो इमीडिएटली कलंगूट पुलिस स्टेशन ने होटल के सुपरवाइजर के कंप्लेंट में मर्डर का एफ रजिस्टर किया 302, 201 एंड सेक्शन 8 ऑफ गोवा चिल्ड्रंस एक्ट इमीडिएटली परेश के टीम इधर से चित्रदुर्गा डिस्ट्रिक्ट पहुंचा आई मंगला पुलिस स्टेशन में तो वहां पे वहां से ए, वो लेडी को हमने डिटेन किया वहां पे अरेस्ट किया वहां पे कोर्ट में पेश किया और ट्रांसिट रिमांड लेके अभी गोवा में शॉर्ट ब्रेक कीप वाचिंग टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट वी इन्वेस्ट लॉट ऑन हेल्थी लिविंग आर वी टेकिंग इक्वल केयर टू प्रिवेंट एच आई वी अवॉइड रिस्की बिहेवियर पीएम किसान सम्मान निधि के माध्यम से किसानों की छोटी छोटी जरूरतों को पूरा कर रहे इन खर्चों के लिए अब उन्हें किसी दूसरे के सामने हाथ नहीं फैलाना पड़ता यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री के विजन से प्रधानमंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि योजना लाई है उत्तर प्रदेश के करोड़ों अन्नदाताओं के चेहरे पर मुस्कान 
माननीय मुख्यमंत्री योगी आदित्यनाथ के नेतृत्व में दो करोड़ तिरसठ लाख किसानों को मिला है स्वाभिमान से जीने का अधिकार किसानों के बैंक खातों में भेजे गए हैं चौसठ करोड़ रुपए। इस योजना के तहत सभी किसानों को प्रति वर्ष उपलब्ध कराई जाती है छह हजार रूपए की आर्थिक सहायता अब किसान भाइयों को कृषि कार्यों के लिए किस्मत के भरोसे नहीं रहना होगा अन्नदाताओं का सम्मान नए उत्तर प्रदेश की पहचान हेलो नॉर्थ इज फिजिक्स वाला गुवाहाटी इज हियर फॉर योर ड्रीम्स टू बी फुलफिल एज एन इंजीनियर और ए डॉक्टर विद फिजिक्स वाला विद्यापीठ वेयर एक्सपीरियंस आर मेंटेड बाय एक्सपीरियंस फैकल्टीज विद पर्सनलाइज्ड डाउट क्लासेस अलोंग विद रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स फॉर रिवीजन अपने सपनों को दे पंग पीडब्ल्यू के संग नाउ व्हाट इज एवरीवन इज परचेजिंग अमृत सैम व्हाई वोंट दे बाय क्वालिटी द बेस्ट प्राइस द बेस्ट technical service that too is the best and on top of that the strength of csh gel even mm. engineer saab was talking about it what is it it is like amrit for homes see here foundation roof lentil csh gel adds life to every dhalai with amrit sem your home becomes immortal when the whole country is building with amrit sem what are you waiting for janab amrit sem powered by csh gel har dhalai ki jaan darmat tiger hai na black tiger cement Nowadays everyone is purchasing Amrit Sam. Why won't they buy? Quality the best. Price the best. Technical service that too is the best and Welcome back moving further Following the resignation of Elizabeth Warren, France's President Emmanuel Macron on Tuesday named 34-year-old Education Minister Gabriel Attal as the new Prime Minister of the country. Attal will become the youngest and the first openly gay head of the government in France. A presidential statement said the President of the Republic appointed Mr. Gabriel Attal Prime Minister and tasked him with forming a government. Gabriel Attal is a close ally of Emmanuel Macron who was the government spokesman during COVID pandemic. He is one of the country's most popular politicians in recent opinion polls who has made a name for himself as a savvy minister, easy on radio shows as well as in parliament. Following the approval from the Union Information and Broadcasting Ministry, Manipur is set to host its first Northeast India Film Festival and EIFF, which the main event scheduled from March 3 to 7, with the announcement of the NEIFF 2024 on Monday, which will be jointly organized by the THOUNA Manipur, Film Forum Manipur, and Department of Information and Broadcasting. The application and film entry of the festival has also been open. The objectives for the festival are to promote the growth of a vibrant and inclusive film industry in the Northeast India to support film makers and technicians with a unique vision to promote artistic excellence and creative freedom of artists to draw attention to showcase our unmatchable traditional cultural heritage through cinema, said Chairman of the Managing Committee Y. Nila Chandra while announcing the festival at DRPR office in Imphal. He invited all the film makers and producers of the eight states of Northeast India to be a part of the festival, which is a competitive festival of features films produced and certified by CBFC during the period from January 1st to December 31st, 2023. The awards to be conferred are Best Production Film, Best Director, Best Cinematography, Best Screenwriter, Best Editing Special Mention and Sp Special Jury Award, he said, adding all awards carriers statute, uh, citation and cash. The committee also informed that the last date for the online application and film entry will be February 9 and announcement of selected films for the festival will be held on February 20. All entries must be submitted to the NEIFF Directorate, Manipur State Film and Television Institute, MSFTI, building near Palace Gate in fall, he said, adding for details of the prescribed entry form along with rules and regulations of entry of firms will be available in their website. For the first time, the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, the Mayor of India has highly approved our invited venture of organizing the North East India Film Festival, NEIFF in Manipur. 
and the God sanctioned. So we from now on report, we film from Manipur and the Department of Information and the Broadcasting for the festival are to promote the growth of vibrant and inclusive in film industry in the Northeast India to support filmmakers and the technicians with a unique vision to promote artistic excellence and creative freedom of artists to draw attention to showcase our unmatchable traditional cultural heritage through cinema. This press conference is mainly for the preliminary announcement and advertisement of the festival NEI FFF2024 to all the filmmakers and the producers of the eight states of Northeast India, means Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim, and the Tetra, so as to enable them to enter into our festival. NEI FF2024 is a competitive festival of feature films produced and certified by CF, CPFC during the period from 1st January to 31st December 2023 and the list of awards to be offered are Best Production Film, Best Direction, Best Cinematography, Best Screenwriter, Best Editing, Special Mention, Special Jury Awards. All awards carry a statute, a citation and a guest. The schedule of entry and the events are as follows. Announcement of the NEI WF 2024 is 0801-2024, opening death of application. The chief of Samajwadi Party, Akhilesh Yadav, on Tuesday called a crucial party meeting at its Lucknow headquarters to discuss on upcoming 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Addressing the media, the SP chief said that this time the leaders and workers of the party will attempt to win with bigger vote margins. He also said that they are taking suggestions of parties' benefit. He also raised the farmers and unemployment issue and attacked the ruling party on the scene. समाजवादी पार्टी के कार्यालय में आने पर आप सबका बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद समाजवादी पार्टी के सभी वरिष्ठ नेता समाजवादी पार्टी के विधायक समाजवादी पार्टी से लड़े हुए हमारे सभी साथी जो चुनाव लड़े थे हम लोगों ने बैठ करके आने वाले समय में जो लोकसभा चुनाव होने जा रहा है उसमें समाजवादी पार्टी को पहले से ज्यादा वोटों से जिताने के लिए फैसला लिया है समाजवादी पार्टी ने अपने साथियों से यह कहा है कि जितना उन्हें वोट पहले मिला था उससे बढ़ चढ़ करके इस बार समाजवादी पार्टी के जो भी प्रत्याशियों उनकी मदद करें उनको ज्यादा वोट दिलाएं और पार्टी के पक्ष में उनका कोई सुझाव है उन्हें कोई राय देनी है या जमीन पर उन्हें लगता है कि ये बात कहने से ये ये बात नेतृत्व तक पहुंचाने में पार्टी का लाभ होगा वो जानकारी वो सुझाव जरूर दे करके जाएं तो बहुत सारे साथी अपना सुझाव भी दे के जा रहे हैं और हमें उम्मीद है कि आने वाले समय में उत्तर प्रदेश का परिणाम दूसरा होगा परिणाम ऐसा होगा कि जिसमें भारतीय जनता पार्टी का उत्तर प्रदेश से सफाया होगा जो बुनियादी सवाल है वो वैसे ही के वैसे हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी लगातार इस बात का प्रचार कर रही है कि विकसित भारत बनेगा क्या विकसित भारत किसानों की बिना आय बड़े हो जाएगा हमारे देश की अर्थव्यवस्था तभी बेहतर होगी जब हमारा किसान और गरीब खुशहाल होगा बीजेपी के लोगों ने कहा कि किसान की आय दोगुनी करेंगे लेकिन आज दिल्ली के 10 साल पूरे हो गए हैं और उत्तर प्रदेश की सरकार के लगभग 7 साल पूरे हो जाएंगे लेकिन किसान की आय दोगुनी नहीं हुई है नौजवान बड़े पैमाने पर बेरोजगार हुआ है उसकी नौकरी छीनी गई है इनकी सरकार में जो भी नौकरी मिल रही है वो अपमान से भरी नौकरी है समाजवादी पार्टी इस बात को कहती है कि जब भी समाजवादियों को मौका मिलेगा 
देश के और प्रदेश के नौजवानों को उनको सम्मान का रोजगार सम्मान का नौकरी मिलने का काम हो जो इन्वेस्टमेंट का सपना दिखाया था वो जमीन पर नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है चालीस लाख करोड़ का सपना दिखाया एमओयू साइन हुए अब तो दूसरे प्रदेश के लोग भी एमओयू कराने लगे हाल ही में तमिलनाडु में देश के प्रधानमंत्री गए देश के बड़े उद्योग मंत्री गए वहां भी एमओयू हो गए अब सोचने की बात यह कि क्या उत्तर प्रदेश में जो एमओयू किए थे वो जमीन पे आ रहे हैं और जिन इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी के तहत इन्होंने इन्वेस्टमेंट मांगने के काम किया था क्या उन इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी के तहत योजनाएं जमीन पर पहुंची हैं क्या उनको इंसेंटिव दिए गए हैं जब बजट में इंसेंटिव का पैसा नहीं था या इंसेंटिव के लिए कोई बजट नहीं था तो फिर इन्वेस्टमेंट क्या आया है Cultural sustainability is an important issue that often gets overlooked. It refers to the idea of preserving and sustaining traditional cultures in the face of globalization and modernization. Sustainable tourism, alternatively, promises not only to support economic development in destinations, but also to facilitate cultural and environmental conservation in heritage sites around the world. Tourism has not always been the most sustainable endeavor. Some forms of tourism have even led to culturally and environmentally abusive and exploitative practices from polluting to poaching. The World Tourism Organization defines sustainable tourism as tourism that takes full account of its current and future economic, social and environmental impacts, addressing the needs of the visitors, the industry, the environment and host communities. Nagaland is also a hub of culture and nature, attracting tourists from everywhere to witness the land, nature, tourist sites and popularly known festivals like Hornbill Festival. With the age of globalization, tourism has become a way of cultural globalization and promoting green village culture. Our land is very naturally inhabited and so tourism is also growing quite spontaneously attracting travelers and tourists across the globe. And in order to efficiently promote our tourism, we have to learn ways to promote sustainable tourism to protect our cultural and environmental heritage. One of the most important ways that sustainable tourism practices support environmental and cultural preservation is through adherence to local, national and international laws. Honoring local laws and regulations can regulate what items can be brought into and taken out of a country in what quantities, by whom and through what means. These regulations have proven essential to protecting countries' precious resources from the deep pockets of foreign tourists or the nefarious practices of commodities, thieves and exotic animal poachers. Buying local. When you buy local, you help boost the local economy, benefit local benefits and help to reduce the destination's carbon footprint from transporting the goods. This is also true at meal times, so enjoy fresh locally grown produce every chance you get. Minimize your environmental impact. Resources are much